Hey everybody, you're back real quick for a bit of an update video on the Bentelli 4PR. I just wanted to go over some of the upgrades that I've already done on it so far. Uh, one of the first things I did was to upgrade the headlights, although they are LED headlights. And they have high beams and low beams. Even the high beams just aren't quite bright enough for on the road driving. So I went ahead and picked up this guy right here, cool looking owl. And that light has both yellow lights and white lights and it displays a nice little uh, pattern across the road, especially when used also with the factory lights. And I went ahead and just wrapped the wires around here, fed them to the front. And Bentelli has been so nice to add two factory switches here. I've got the white lights on one and the yellow lights on the other. There, that, I think that was white. That one's yellow. And it's right here next to the motor kill switch. Uh, works pretty well. I'll try and get a video of those put together. And one of the things I mentioned before was the alarm system. And what I did here was I just put in a nice little fuse block, pulled it off of the positive here and the negative of this other battery. And these little pins pop out here. And from here, this panel just comes right off. Go ahead and set that to the side. And you'll see that it goes to a 48 volt DC converter down to 12 volts. And that I've got fed right here into this fuse block. Right now it's only the Viper alarm system that's on here. Uh, in the future, I can put additional lights, LEDs, sound bars, anything I want off of that, up to the rated amperage of this. This is rated for 30 amps, uh, so it might need an additional one if I ever do put in a nice stereo or something a bit bigger. Let me go around to the other side so you can see the alarm. Uh, and real quick, uh, what I did here was I just I tied all the grounds in together to a bolt. Seems to work pretty well. No fires yet. Okay, so here on the other side, you can see you've got the DC converter screwed in right here. The panel fits over the top of that concealing it completely and there's the Viper alarm system right here now if you need exact wiring specifications diagrams it's a pretty easy plug-and-play the directions are pretty easy for it uh, it also is tied into the uh, hazard lights so if I go ahead and turn it off and hopefully you can see and hear it here It does arm and see the lights. Chirps once, letting you know that it's being armed, and it'll chirp another time, letting you know that it is active. And disarms with two chirps, two flashes, to let you know that it is disarmed. Another thing that I did was I initially had a cup holder mount for the cell phone. Uh, but this dash uh, tends to flex a bit and as you're bouncing it down the road if you hit any bumps it uh, shakes the phone around a lot so I switched to this suction cup mount on the windshield and it holds pretty well uh, it twists a little bit but it's a much more secure way and then your phone isn't bouncing all over the place and it's much easier to read so that alarm system uh, it also has a little display light I just ran it up uh, up underneath the back here and you can kind of see the little LED display right here it's not very bright and unless you're in the dark and nobody's gonna notice there's a little flasher light on there and this little panel right here fits just right over the top and secures back in these two little push pins and pull my little block out there set the seats down all right one of the other upgrades that I did went ahead and pre-pop this this just has little uh, clips on it there's two in the corners here one in the bottom over here and when you pop pull this off uh, you'll see that it has the, the original speaker in it to begin with uh, this is the kicker CS three and a half inch I did need to 
drill an extra little hole in here for it to mount across, but it does rear mount. Uh, the cup holder does come very close to hitting it. There's not a whole lot of extra room back here behind, but it's a nice little upgrade because then you've got your mids, what do you call them, lows, but mids and highs separate so that it's not too muddy. And that fits over and just snaps back in. There we go. Never knew it wasn't factory, I guess. Come back over to the side here. This is a handy little upgrade. It's just removable vinyl, uh, but it keeps everything from getting scratched up over here on the side. Like I said, I throw my golf clubs in. Hang on a second, let me grab one of those. All right, hopefully that cut transition isn't too much. So I went ahead and grabbed uh, my putter, just so you can see how this slides right back in here. And got one of these fancy putters. I'm pretty sure that's just a golf course find putter. So nothing too fancy, it's a next, probably garbage putter, I, I don't really care for it. Anyway, so it just slides right back in there and you can fit a few clubs in here. You're not gonna fit your whole bag of clubs in here. But as you can see, they rub and scratch around. I don't wanna mess up the, I don't know if it's paint that's made that way but don't want to mess it up, get it all scratched. So that little piece of vinyl right there keeps it from getting scratched up. And just to show how much room is in here, we're going to throw a ball grabber in here that is 48 inches long. And you'll see that it, when it's pretty flush with the side here, do, 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 and it's pretty flush with the side here. So this here is about 48 inches across, but you can fit a few clubs in there. And I've got a little Velcro strap to to hold them in there and I just mount it right here to this uh, seat belt bracket and it works pretty good. I went ahead and ordered those Nerf bars and I'll see if I can post a link in the description for the Nerf bars and the little Amazon owl light that I got. Uh, that suction cup mount has been in my garage so long I don't have a link for that one. But yeah, a few little upgrades coming, a few more left to do. The real big fun one is, I believe, the stereo system. Just imagine an outdoor speaker right up there. It's going to be interesting. All right, till next time, that's the quick update for what I've gotten done so far. See you all next time.